Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Ryder, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who, prior to attending, um, used um, some olive oil spray. Now, uh, you may, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you may be aware that um, I was recently invited by uh, an ear care company called Clear to become their healthcare advisor, and I actually use this particular brand of olive oil spray um, during my procedures. And in this instance, the patients used it prior to attending. So uh, the clear olive oil ear spray is their flagship product. There is other products available, which you'll see at the end of the video. And um, it's a medical grade olive oil, which is really safe to use in the ear. And the difference between medical grade olive oil and the extra virgin olive oil that you have in your kitchen is, is the way the, the extra virgin oil is extracted. So Chemicals are used in cooking olive oil to extract the extra virgin, whereas medical grade is a different process, so there's no chemicals involved, so it makes it really, really safe to use in the ear. So this patient's got a really bendy, narrow, twisty ear canal, and uh, previously when they attended, a, I think it was about a year ago, um, it, was, it was really difficult to remove the wax because of the ear anatomy, but also because it was really rock solid, it was embedded onto the eardrum. You can see this patient's just got ear wax on their eardrum and it was really difficult to gain access. So prior to attending, I recommended the patient just to use the drops for a couple of days, just to help soften it. And I've cleared the main blockage, and you can see probably two thirds of the eardrum. It's just the superior aspect, so up north of the eardrum, and also the east region where we are now. So this is the anterior recess. You can, I don't know if you can see how much I've bent the, the fine end suction tube here. It's quite a quite prominent bend, and I needed that bend um, to get access. And this bend is something that I artificially do on the fine end. The fine end normally comes um, sterile, single packed, and I actually bend it. And that helps to curl into, these, into this little alcove, the anterior recess. So we can see most of the eardrum. You can actually see some of the fine detail, all the muscle fibers there as well. And I just want to get as much out as I can here. Because the wax is a bit softened with the drops, it's really does help. The first time I saw this patient a year ago, it was really, really difficult. I had to put drops in quite a lot during the procedure. And we did manage to remove it, but it was a long, really long um, session. And um, today it was less than, I think, five minutes. So I said it really, really did help. So we're just in this, what we call this the anterior superior quadrant, so the northeast region. Just a bit of skin. I was just obscuring the view, so I'm just peeling this out of the way. So even at this stage, the patient can hear significantly better. But I just want to see if I can get as much out as possible without obviously risking any trauma to the patients here. Sometimes uh, with ear care, less is more. It's something I always, uh, when we train our clear backs delegates, to, just to always explain that sometimes less is more. And the more confident, the more experience you get, then you can possibly you know, um, go for a bit more wax than you you do when you're a starter, but it's very important that when you begin ear care, you, you kind of know your limitations, and I was the same when I first started, so you just get better and better with the more you do it. But you can fully see this, you can see this patient's ear anatomy, it's really narrow, it's bendy, you can see the ear canal veers off to the left, it goes down and then back up, so you can see I'm going up, down, left, and then back to the right there. So you can see the majority of the eardrum. I'm just going more, again, in the anterior recess here. You can see that bend. You can see that kink in the tube. Now, the link for the clear olive oil spray is going to be in the description. We've also, they've also got some other products that we're now selling directly from our Clear Wax website. So uh, I'll put the, the link in the description. You can actually just follow that link and visit our Clear Wax website and buy these drops now directly from us. But the shipping's only to the UK, guys. So um, it's only UK based that we're shipping to. And you can see there, we're really pleased with that. And you're going to get a full range of the drops. So in the middle, the flagship product is the clear olive oil spray. It's just really easy to use. Um, you've got a spray applicator, it's no fuss. To the right, the green one, that's the equivalent, but it's just in drops form, um, format. So it's cheaper and you do get a bit more for your money, but it's in the drops formation. Um, in between the olive oil ear spray and the olive oil drops, you have um, a product called Ear Relief. Now, 
This is meant for patients who have got are suffering from inflammation, a bit of pain in the ear, or if they've got water in the ear. And the, ma the main active ingredient is glycerol. So glycerol is uh, an alcohol, um, an odorless sweet type of alcohol, which attracts water, so it helps with any swelling in the ear canal. It attracts the water out. Um, and in addition, it contains lidocaine. So lidocaine is a surface topical anaesthetic. So it can help soothe and calm the ear down and numb your ear, so to speak. And to the left, the Clear Express. Now that's your ear hydrogen peroxide drops. Now if you've been watching my channel for, uh, um, for as long as um, I've uploaded videos, I've never been a big fan of um, your ear hydro hydrogen peroxide, but uh, they still have that product there. It's in a drops format. Um, now I don't do ear irrigation or ear syringing when you flush it out with water. Now it, the theory is, is that with th that type of method of ear wax removal, Th those drops might be quite useful but you've got the full range there uh, but again the flagship product is the clear ear spray uh, you can use it not only for earwax softening earwax but also to help moisturize and lubricate the ear canal if you've got dry itchy ears um, you can also use it uh, just like we use ear drop uh, eye drops sorry you can use ear drops or spray regularly the key is is to instill the drop spray drops or spray a couple of squirts a couple of drops Lean your ear so it's facing towards the ceiling, let it settle in your ear, um, leave it for a few minutes so it softens any wax or it can, it can penetrate deep in the ear and then tilt your head the opposite direction so the drops drains out your ear. That's so, so crucial otherwise the wax will travel towards the eardrum and the oil will get trapped near the eardrum. You want to drain it so tilt your head the opposite way so the ear is now facing on the floor. Just put a tissue underneath your ear. You can do that on a weekly, fortnightly basis just to help, as I said, moisturise your ears. I can't guarantee it's going to remove wax if you do it regularly, but it's the only thing you can really do. And our ears secrete oils as well. So uh, olive oil is, has got some antimicrobial benefits. So um, it's the safest thing. Obviously, if you've got a perforation or a T-tube, a pressure tube grommet, please do not use or a mastoid cavity. And also, if you're having earwax removed elsewhere, and um, so a lot of specialists ask you, it's a prerequisite, you must use drops for five days, feel free to purchase it from our Clear Wax website. And I'll put, as I said, again, I'll put the link in the description. I hope everyone's keeping well and safe. Do stay tuned. I've got loads more videos to upload. Take care and speak soon. Bye.